We're back on the ice of Cusco Falls Lodge in Northern Manitoba. We're hopefully gonna ice some walleyes and cook up some lemon pecker, peck. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in Northern Manitoba. We're looking for walleyes. And if we can catch a couple, we're gonna cook up some lemon pepper catch and cook walleye nuggets. And Mark's on, here we go. Ooh, look at that. Here we go, it's gonna be a good show. It's me, Alex Perrick. I'm up early and not only that, I'm not a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. <laughs> Let's go. On Jay's last video, somebody said I was the Daniels of wish.com. And now I'm the AP Bassin of Wish.com. Welcome back to part two of our first ice adventure. We're at Cusco Falls Lodge. Some of the finest ice fishing accommodations anywhere. We're in the two-story cabin overlooking a waterfall. It's stunning. Yesterday we had a real good day. Brian Bogdan, the owner here, gave us a little hot tip on a backcountry gem. So we're gonna see if we can get there and if there's good ice. Getting there's half the battle and then who knows if the lake's frozen or not. Get your stuff together. We gotta go fishing. How are you guys sleeping in? You missed your school bus pickup. We gotta go. I can't. I park in the garage. You got your boat in there. This is frustrating. Oh my goodness. That Alex Parrot guy, he's gonna be the death of me. He is gonna drive me up a wall. <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> I can't imagine ice fishing without the rainbow trailer. It's my second season with it. It has changed the way I ice fish. You can see how dirty the trailer is on the outside. All our gear is clean, ready to rock on the inside. We have a bit of a ride. We got the snow machine, the e-bike, Can-Am, and eventually we should hopefully find some ice, but we'll see. We made it out to the lake. Bit of adventure getting in here, but we found safe ice. Not all safe. We've been spudding as we went. Nine feet of water. We got Mark Tully. We got Alex Perrick. We got Andrew Walker. Everyone's probably filming some stuff for their own channel. So you gotta watch all the videos to see what's going on. The guys dropped the live scope and did a little scanning and saw a couple, so we'll see. All right, I got the three hole system here. Live scope in the middle, active bait, jigging bait. That's just a very common setup for walleyes. You can have your dead stick further away, but for now we'll probably keep it close together. Oh, so you fish other people's spots. Well, no, I fish with friends that check the ice for me. <laughs> I think Alex's objective is complete. He's poked the grizzly bear. Look at this wagon coming in here. Holy smokes. <laughs> Look at that guy. He knows how to pack a minivan. That's the vibes I'm getting. We're fishing a mud flat. The spot Brian told us about, mouth of a creek. We're gonna set a dead stick on this bucket. It already smells like salted minnows, so you know it's good. It's got that flavor that the fish love. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna catch that fish, dude. Okay, we're gonna go into, we're going into stealth mode here. That's a bigger fish. Psh. I mean, bigger being. Psh. Okay, there's a bigger tiny perch approaching. We don't want to be too loud. If it doesn't bite, I'm blaming Jay. You got him. He's on. He did it. First fish of the day. No, yeah. No, she did it. Check out how it looked on the on the screen fish here. Went into the heavens. And now you've got a pretty good vibe on the other fish. The early season perch. The early season mark with an early season perch. And I'll put the fish back. Really important to take care of those ones. They're good breeders. <laughs> That's what I'm using. Jay, what is it? It's called a head spin jig with a mini slayer. And I'm using something called a micro tantrum. We're told there's perch in this lake and some walleyes. Walleye will have no problem eating these things. There's a bigger fish out there. Look at that. That's for sure a bigger fish. That's great. Things are getting pretty multi-species out turning here. Turning on, hey? firing up. You notice how we went into stealth mode? I was whispering and I caught that fish. That helped for sure. I got a fish, I think. Go, 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 Jay, go, run, run, run. You can't run fast enough. Oh, it's got some weight. We got walleye, woo! There it is. First walleye of the season, minnow. Look at how perky that dorsal is. On the is. drench. 
And this one is gonna go into the new lemon pepper ketchup cook coating. Oh no, they usually don't make it through that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, it's gonna go in the bucket. That's Alex just got a perch, I'm rigging up my dead stick, very basic. We got a size six octopus hook, barbless because we're in Manitoba. Got a little split shot, about six inches above it. This is eight pound fluoro to, I think this is eight pound frostbite braid, and then this is the drench, my favorite dead stick rod, the 39 medium light. And I could have this in a jaw jacker, but I was a bit lazy. So I put it on top of a bucket and all I saw was just that tip tip bobbing down. So hopefully we get that on some active baits because it's a lot more fun doing it that way, but gotta have two lines out. Always take advantage of that second line. Good sign, if we keep getting bites out there, we'll move our whole setup, but everyone's kind of seeing and hooking some fish. So we're off to a good start. Early ice is an interesting season because you kind of have to go with lower expectations. For me, it's just like, all about getting on the ice. Oh, there's a fish coming up. Decent mark, got him. Good fish, Mark. This ain't no perch. Nope. Little pike. Woohoo! I was gonna say, you gotta have different expectations. Sometimes, a little walleye and little pike. It just popped right out. Thank you. How's that? We're hey? gonna release this guy. He's probably a little too small to yeah. slice up, but that was fun. Cool. Fish, fish, fish. Oh, the bucket. It's the start of the ice season. We're here in Northern Manitoba. We're chasing down. Oh, we lost our cameraman. Oh. And we lost the fish. We're losing everything. Are you okay, Brando? He's never looked so happy. Look at the size of the snow angel you just made. It's magnificent. He's just out here having fun, unlocking side missions. Might not be landing every fish, but that's okay. He's on, Brandon. I drop back down and he's on. And we are gonna have a feast tonight, boys. Bucket fish and walleyes. A little lemon, a little pepper. It's gonna be good. I think that might've been the fish that dropped it and picked it up again. Going in the bucket. There is definitely a chance of losing rods when you're doing this, but I keep the drag a little bit looser and I kind of set it up on the pail that if the fish does jostle it enough, it should hopefully fall into the pail. Jay, it looks like there's a fish in your hole. Oh, there is. Oh no. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. He's gonna eat it. Oh, he just chomped it. I got the assist on that one. Come on, Mark. <laughs> oh, teamwork for that one. Oh, that was funny. We get one fill at each on that bad boy. <laughs> Micro tantrum. Yeah. My go-to. That was funny. Yeah. I was not paying attention. Yeah, all the all the electronics and strategy in the world that were required for that fish. That's what it's all about. I owe you. I might name my next child after you. Nice. Mark with a C or Mark with a K? Depends if he's French. Okay, petite poisson. There's one out there 75 feet. We'll see if it comes over to my fish. We are hooked up. Nice. We're cooking fish for the boys tonight. This is honestly my favorite size to eat like 12 to 14 inches. Here's a little quick tip for you guys. I wouldn't really do it on small fish. We're keeping this fish, so I'm not concerned about keeping it out of the water a little longer. When you're holding bigger fish, bigger walleyes, pike, lake trout, I like to hold them by the gill plate, but that doesn't mean in the gills. So if you look right here, see the red gills, you don't wanna stick your fingers in the red part. What I do is I slide my fingers up and I pinch. So my thumb goes on the outside of the gill plate, my index finger and middle finger go on the inside and I pinch together. So I'm pinching then I'm supporting under the belly. Vertical holds like this, those are, from the past, those will hurt the fish. So I'm going support under the belly, holding the gill plate, obviously a smaller fish like this, you don't really need to put your fingers in the gills, but that's how, how I like to hold a bigger fish and everyone's got their own reasons and ways they do it. But anyways, long story short, we're keeping this one. This has been the hot hole by far. I'm going like this, uh, 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 uh. staying alive, staying alive. Uh, 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 uh. Stay in the way You were walking there and I was walking here. We were walking on the ice. We were being too loud. All that scattering fish were moving. The little perch stayed. We caught a few. Got enough walleyes for a shore lunch too. <laughs> we need to wrap that song up somehow. With a rod? Can you just hit us with a- Oh, go, 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 go. Oh no. You double, double pumped me. Well, you wanted a transition to end the song. You know I've got a soft skull right in the soft spot. Did that hurt you? I'll be okay. I got a fish.
Another, oh no! This has been the hot hole. <sighs> Woo! Oh yeah. On the board, target species acquired, baby. Right there. Look at that sharp hook right through the snout, just like it's meant to be. That is gonna be lemon pepper flavored, which I look forward to. Hey! Jay, you're gonna be so proud of me, I did it. You did good. I did so good. Could you bring me a minnow? Oh, look at that. <laughs> this DoorDash service is amazing out here. We got Nate's baits, hopefully that's all right. This might be the new ice fishing mode of transportation for early ice. Dude. It was pretty convenient. If I can figure out a toboggan, anyways, I got this new Himaway e-bike. Gonna use it for hunting, gonna use it for fishing. This thing's called the Cobra. It's pretty heavy, it's like 100 pounds. It goes like 20 miles an hour without pedaling. I, I think it said 80, 80 miles round trip on a single charge. It's amazing. You just press this thing. <laughs> and you're gone! <laughs> oh no. And I need some studded tires. You You definitely can pedal it too if you want, and then it's the pedal assist. Or if you're a little bit lazy, you can just uh, obviously press the throttle, but it's pretty phenomenal. More useful than I actually expected. Like that fat tire is so good on the snow. Dude, you should have seen Andrew smiling. Like he was just so happy. Well, you will. You'll see him right here. Check this out. There's the drive in and he has never been happier in his life. 14 miles an hour. 15 miles an hour. I wager to think that when we get back here, Andrew's gonna grab that e-bike for the ride home. Do you have sunglasses? Yeah. I've got a pretty funny joke. You'll like this. It was popular in junior high, so your fan base should love this. You just kind of look away and then you look back. Hey, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> It's not pretty funny. <laughs> it looks like I got no mouth. <laughs> and that's how I became very popular in junior That's how you made a lot of friends. Yeah. Are you on a fish? Yes, sir. Do you want to catch him? Uh, yes, please. Oh, 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 my back, oh, my back. Ooh, that's a nice perch. People don't really think of the north as a perch destination, but that's a nice one. Fish, 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 mark, 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 mark. Ooh, woo, jumbo. Look at that. Boop. Oh, I got a fish on that. Uh, Mark's got a fish. Oh, there's some slush. It's a slush resistant e-bike. Yeah, baby. Look at that. The lips, the fins, everything. There you go. I said welcome back. That was to Andrew and uh, Ryan. Got some exercise. Okay guys, Jay's gonna get the catch and cook stuff. We're gonna have a little fish fry on the water, so I'm gonna clean up a couple fish that we got. We got a perch and four walleyes. Should be yummy in that catch and cook lemon pepper batter. Catch and cook knife, it's nice and sharp. I'm back. Downtown. I got the cooker. I got some dead weight. Some real dead weight. Some in the crunch. <clears throat> lemon pepper. Well, ran back to the truck, got the lemon pepper, and we're gonna cook up some walleyes. Looks like Andrew cut them up. So I've had spicy and original. Spicy is definitely my favorite, but I got a feeling I might like this one better than spicy. Ooh. Spicy's just so Three good. It's gonna be hard to beat. Lemon pepper though. Here you got the lemon cap. I'm gonna use my bump board because we are working with minimal uh, plates, options, that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna put the lemon pet on this bump board. I'm gonna throw the flays in there. Give this a whiff. Oh! Oh my gosh. Got so some lemon kick. Yeah. Beaver, really? Lemon pepper just seemed like the next logical 
flavor for catch and cook. We had the citrus kick seasoning, but now we got the lemon pepper coating. I think, I think it's gonna fill that void for you lemon pepper lovers. We'll see what these guys think. I think I'm gonna like it. <laughs> it smells good. It looks good. That seems like that's good. That's about golden brown perfect. Typically when you're deep frying, as long as you don't overheat the oil, the fish cooks before the batter browns up perfect. Oh, oh look at this. Crispy. It's the double. The crunch has been summoned on those. Mm, that's like golden brown. All right, boys, dig in. Lemon pepper, catch and cook. First impressions, Alex Perrick, Andrew Walker, Mark Telly. Hot. You had to give it a rating out of five lemons. Five out of five. Not being biased. That's good. It's really nice to have like a seasoning that you don't like, you're not tempted to add anything to it. It's like you do it, it's just like, mm -hmm. that's it's it. It's got enough kick. Yeah. Mm. Wow, Jay, you all did yourself. You like it? Yeah. I think it might be my favorite. Yeah. Right. I think it's better than spicy. Spicy so good, but this is just, this is like what fish needs. Like when you're like, what's the perfect mixture for fish? It's this, lemon. Yeah. It's pepper. It's catch and cook lemon pepper. <laughs> <laughs> well, the evening bites about to fire up. We're gonna eat the rest of this fish. I'm, it's so good. There's a fish under my hole. There's a fish under my hole. There's one. He's lining it up. He's out of the hole. <laughs> that guy's lucky today because we ate chore lunch. Oh, there's a fish under us. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Another one. This one's pulling a little bit. That's a nice wallet. Oh, okay. There you go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Got him. We caught some nice ones for eating this morning. I think we're gonna have a smash fest this evening. There's another one under me right now. You wanna come fish with me? Okay, I'm back. We got some catch and cook. Oh, 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 oh. To the heavens. Look at this, look at that. Hey. Oh, that's a good one. That's These are way awesome. bigger than the ones before. Look at that. When they just chomp shut so hard, they're just like. <clears throat> Another Wakusko walleye. <laughs> These fish are coming in and killing now. So before we were doing the bucket deal with a little gammy size six and a split shot. Now we got the meathead jigs rocking. A little more fun than running around for buckets. I like seeing them on the electronics. I like interacting with them a little bit more, but it is prime time. If you haven't heard about prime time, you will hear about it right now. Prime time is the best time of day for walleyes. It's low light, sunrise, sunset, last hour of the day, just like hunting. It's when the big dogs come out to play. Mm-hmm. Is there like more zooplankton movement at sunset or sunrise? Oh, for sure. Have you noticed on your flasher or live scope in the evenings, it happens more so when you're crappy fishing. You can't even read the bottom of your bait. That's just the whole like ecosystem, like all the organisms coming alive out of the mud and stuff. So there you have it. It's the mud comes alive and uh, everything else follows. Cause I could probably haul uh, a toboggan. Oh, 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 look at, oh, he ate it. Yeah, he did. Jay Siemens Walleye Spectacular. Light brown normal back, we would call that one. Manitoba gold back. Manitoba gold back. And this gold back is going back. Go on back, boy. See? Whatever. Oh, here's one, here's one. There's a walleye. He's coming in. I'm gonna give it a little raise. Tap, 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 tap. Yep, 10% raise. Ooh. Maybe you can catch a mark? I'll wiggle it. He's just gonna wait for you to drop back down. And eat it out of the mud? Ridiculous. There it is. That's it, we're oh, calling it. Man. Spit no minnows. That is the exclamation mark at the end of a great day. We caught, we cooked, we lemon peppered. Good friends, good times in Northern Manitoba, Wakusko Falls Lodge. What are we doing tomorrow, guys? Well, we had a great multi-species multi day today. Pike, perch, walleye. That's kind of like the Manitoba special. But we're gonna dip our toe back into the stock trout game, which is very exciting. And if you can see the fish. You can catch the fish. You can catch the fish. Buy some catch cook, please. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Be safe on the ice and shout out Wakusko Falls Lodge. Hunt Fish MB and these fine, fine people. <laughs> Nature! <laughs> you like that? <laughs>